Join me today as we create a beautiful handmade card that celebrates the win wonder of the snowy filled season right now across the world. Look at this beautiful handmade card that is a wonderful way to encourage somebody as they are taking the next steps in life or they're about to approach something exciting in their business or personal life. This is Jamie with gettingcrafty.net. If you haven't already, take a second to like this video, subscribe and hit that bell so that you join us for every card making Monday, wild card Wednesday and stamping stream Friday. Today's wild, uh, card making Monday, we're gonna be embracing the silhouette scenes and some gorgeous coloring techniques to create this snowy wonder filled image. Um, I adore the well suited designer series paper as a symbol of the snowing falling um, here with these great techniques we're going to be embracing some blending brushes some different techniques in creating a unique sparkly filled background so if you can see here lots of shadow great little snow drifts easy to wow and this card will take you just a few minutes so go ahead let's create right now we're going to actually do a couple twists on this. I'm gonna show you how. We're going to use this cute little um, young person here looking into the monocle, um, or that's actually a telescope where he looks or she looks into their future. Um, I love these solid silhouette images. If you don't have them, they're wonderful. It reminds me of a willow tree um, embracing the um, symbolism of something without having to put a face to it. And we're gonna embrace this Go Confidently Into the Direction of Your Dreams by Thoreau. The greetings on this sweet um, stamp set are so easy to use. And we are going to need a piece of basic white cardstock. Here, I've already cut this down to three and a quarter by four and a half. That's one inch smaller than the standard card front. That's three and a quarter by four and a half. I also have already pre-cut the Well Suited Designer Series paper down a quarter of an inch. So that is four inches by five and a quarter, four inches by five and a quarter. We're gonna be using Smoky Slate cardstock right here. I've scored it at five and a half, cut it at four and a quarter for an elongated card. This will continue that vibe of a tall, snowy scene, just like you're going to see here. Now, I'm going to use my bone folder on the back of this to give it a nice impression right here. And then I'm gonna set that aside. So this here, it's going to open, open just like so. There you go. What we're going to need is we're gonna use this piece of the Well-Worn Designer Series paper. You could use both of them, um, either side on the back, but I really want to do blending. When you do a blending technique like this, you wanna make sure that you use the um, a scrap of paper or something that's gonna get hidden so your whole surface does not get color covered in color. We're also gonna create this little young one right here, and I'm going to be stamping into basic gray ink pad with the image. So that's basic gray. It's a nice, solid, darker gray. And you wanna pat, 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 but you don't wanna press hard. You don't wanna get that image across the back where it gives you that ring. Our red rubber for Stampin' Up! is um, is a higher red rubber, so as long as you don't press hard, you don't have a problem. What I like to do is put it down where we're going to have this little one go, and I give it a little wiggle, but don't rock. A little wiggle, but don't rock. And I'm just gonna let it sit there for a second, while with the Navy, Knight of Navy ink pad, we're gonna grab that greeting, like here, and we're going to do the same thing. Let's pick up this little image, and I would be using my um, Stamparatus. Stamparatus is an amazing tool for this, but mine's packed away. And we're in the process of moving from California to snowy filled Indiana. So since we're moving to Indiana, I was looking at the weather app like I do, and I saw the snow falling just recently and how when I was there recently, it has that gorgeous sparkly effect as it falls. So I'm gonna show you that really fun technique right here as we go. That's one of the last things we do with this project. Now I'm going to be using one of my blending brushes and the Knight of Navy ink pen. I also took a piece of Whisper, I mean basic white cardstock, and I tore it along the top. So what I'm gonna show you is how that looks. I'm going to pull it towards me and give it some highs and lows. You want not, don't go fast. You want this to not be crazy, but don't get rid of both sides. Now you have two opposite patterns that you get to use just like we've done here. 
and here. Now, I want the, this little child to be looking into the sky. So one of the things I think I should have done the first time, which I did not, was create a mask. So I'm gonna stamp this little one inside on top of a sticky note, fussy cut that out, and I'm gonna place that over the image so that when I use the um, brush across the top, it's not gonna show the background like so. So what I mean by that, you also wanna make sure that you're looking for the sticky side. So that's this side right here. Put this one down. And then let's go ahead and we're going to fussy cut that out with my paper snips. Okay, so if you've seen here, I tapped my blending brush into the corner of my Night of Navy ink pad, and I just kept blending out. If there's an area where it seems kind of splotchy, I like to pat over that, kind of blend out those splotches. And here, the designer series paper, since I'm using the back of it, will be my throwaway item. So a night sky is not generally super solid. You want a little bit of variance in there. Uh, you can add a variety of colors in here. You can have a lot of fun. Usually when I get to the A edges, I like to do a nice dark frame. So go in and touch the dark area around the outside of your cardstock. This gives you um, a, another layer to it. And with a blending brush, just take your time. Work out your aggressions, keep going. These blending brush bristles are super wonderful and they aren't going to die on you. And you can see where it's nice and dark. Go in and just work that ink out, blending, blending, blending. Um, I, I watched um, some people who do their makeup and I thought it was really interesting that they just do this to their face. I'm like, wow, I, I don't do that to my face. I don't wear very much makeup either, so that's a big part of it. So here it's a little dark. I wanna blend it out, just kind of pat it, work it, just like so. Okay, now this is where we're gonna get really cool. It's a different technique. Now, Deb Fitzgerald was commenting on one of my recent videos where I did a similar look to this project here, but with a Christmas scene in July a few years ago. I've been doing Stampin' Up! for over 15 years, and I have tons of videos for you to check out. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell and watch my past videos too. All of the techniques are time, timeless and true. Now, we're gonna take this here. I'm gonna turn it over. Actually, no, I'm gonna use a scrap. This is what I'm going to do. I will not use this piece here with the next blending brush because A, it's going to mimic exactly, even if you move it, it's kind of uh, stiff that way, but it also will take and blend this navy in, and I really don't want that at all. So in order to protect the um, surface of my next one, I'm gonna come in and I move these around so it's not so stiff like so. Now, this here is just a clear block. I'm taking my Smoky Slate um, Stampin' Write marker. I'm taking this clear block and my Stampin' Write marker in Smoky Slate. I'm using the paintbrush side here. So, um, what I'm going to do is take a piece of basic white cardstock just so you can see the color better and place it on here. You can do this with a reinker, um, but this is really a fun way to also embrace your Stampin' Write markers. And as I'm doing it, I'm turning the um, brush. I really want that brush to help transfer ink, but I don't wanna wear down a side. So I'm gonna go in just like so. You can pat it out. You wanna add more, you can totally do that. I want this to be a subtle snow um, mound. And then I see that I have a little bit of my sparkle on there. I'm gonna brush it off right here on my scrap of paper. Set that aside. Then we're gonna take our Wink of Stella clear glycerin pen and we're gonna be using it in a couple ways. So watch out for this here. I just created that. We're gonna give it a good squeeze and watch the bevel drop a couple or maybe I used it a lot on my last one. Oh, there we go. I just want a few drops, but I don't wanna wipe all this off. I want that to stay there. So just do this for now and set it aside. Then we're gonna use a blending brush for Smoky Slate, but now it's going to sparkle. And we're gonna blend the two pieces in together. Can you see the sparkle pick up the whole block? It's awesome, you guys, because snow really does sparkle. I think it's magical. My friends that are back east and my family are like, are you sure it's magical? But I think it is. Um, and we're just gonna do a circle here, circling 
um, way right there. I'm going up on the snow. I'm trying not to go into the night of navy there. But as you pull it away, here it doesn't feel like you're doing much of anything at all. But as you pull it away, you can see that. And I'm gonna come over. Then we're gonna move this stencil that we've created right here over and it's going over the young man again i didn't pick up any more sparkle if i didn't want to you can there's more on here to use just use your blending brush to pick it up boom baby boom baby when i'm done i will be using water in my sink just to wash off my blending brush come in just like so and that mask is protecting the little boy so he's not um going to blend at all and you can be really firm with this. These will have a little bit of give, and that's actually good because it's gonna work with those bristles. Those bristles are gonna be moving along for you. They're micro fine, super soft. My kids think it's like therapy. I agree with them. I think it's awesome. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Maybe add just a smidge of snow at an angle right down here. I was at my friend Robin's house, I don't know, it was a year ago in April? No, it would have been two years ago in April. It started snowing in her backyard, and I was like, oh, my gosh. Um, and she thinks I'm so silly. But the truth is, she's actually from California, so she knows. Like, you can be a little silly. Um, and so here we go. And I'll end up washing that away. So make sure you do that before you use it next time. Then I'm going to place this out here. Remember the wink of Stella that we – oh, I want to stamp the greeting. So we're going to use that with Night of Navy as well. And here you can see I stamped it beforehand, but it got a little smeared, and I didn't want that on the next one. So pat, pat, pat. Go confidently in the directions of your dreams. Boom, now that is so crisp with that beautiful night sky. But wait, now close your ink pad when you do these things um, and watch your surface. One of my favorite things to do is grab a paper pumpkin box and do this inside of a paper pumpkin box. Let me show you why. Okay, so here with the paper pumpkin box. Now, by doing so, I'm gonna protect my surface. It's gonna contain my mess. And this is one of the reasons why I love our paper pumpkin boxes. Not only are they perfect for giving gifts away, they're great for catching a crafting mess. So you can see the splatter here, which I will wash off afterwards. I left this as an angle going up because I wanted it to um, have a nice coating of the Wink of Stella glycerin pen. And I wanna create that splattery effect. And I actually would like it to go over the young man. So let's do this. Pull this up, just like so. And he's much more crisp here than he was in the original sample, let me show you. You could see the snow line through his face. I didn't necessarily like that, it's not bad, but this is better and I like better. Now, I'm gonna take the pen tap right here, cap, and give it a nice little squeeze, and then tap, tap, but tap firmly. And I'm tapping it back here as much as possible. It's gonna give you that beautiful, little, clicky, sparkly, sparkly. And move it around. And a good night sky is going to sparkle. When I was looking at the Indiana weather last night, it was showing the snow just, oh, it's so pretty. I know if you're living there, maybe you don't um, enjoy it as much as us Californian people are going to, but we can't wait, quite honestly. Now, looky here. So beautiful. And it's going to dry just like that with these little almost 3D um, sparkles on the front. So I'm going to leave that in this box while I set up the rest of the handmade card and then we're going to put it together. So we're going to embrace, remember, our handy dandy smoky slate cardstock. We are going to grab that just like so. I see a little schmutz on it. Um, and then I already have pre-cut. This here is that. And I want to create a little depth and texture. So what I'm going to do is, is using my stamp and seal adhesives, I'm going to come in. Um, this is actually, I think the seal plus it is, uh, I just love both of them. They're super strong. Now you want to make sure your card is going to open the right way. I have a fun little idea for you here. Wait for it. Wait for it. While wow, that's drying. Throw your card open in here. Always carry your theme through and add some sparkle inside of the card. No effort, you guys. How awesome is that? You can write right over that. 
and it carries the theme through. That I'm gonna make sure I rinse and put it away. Do not put Wink, wink of Stella on your skin. It is not a makeup, keep that in mind. Um, it actually has the um, metallic elements of glitter. So you want to be careful, it's a micro fine glitter that way. Now, I'm actually gonna protect my surface while this is still drying. I'm gonna turn it over. I'm gonna use our Stampin' Dimensional Adhesives on the back. You want to give this a lot of structure. So one, two, three, four, five. Just like that. And it's open. Grab it. Now, did you see what I do there? Because I shake, um, I have a tremor to my hand from nerve damage. I grab my finger on the adhesive so I'm not dropping it. And I really want to have more of the night sky. So what I mean by that is I'm not going to center this. I'm going to pull it down to the center. The nice thing with this is that the lines will line up. So it makes it easy to do. And it's a higher night twinkly sky, just like that. So go confidently into the direction of your dreams. A little sparkly inside, sparkly outside. Beautiful handmade card. This is a great masculine card. So if you have somebody you know who's graduating or has a new job, what a great way to celebrate life with them. Um, hopefully this handmade card inspires you to do a nice snowy scene, making it fun and embrace the beauty of the season and use that well-suited designer series paper in a unique and new way. Um, both of them are great, but can I just say that masking really does make a difference on your project, it makes it seem more lush and rich. Um, so I don't know, which one do you like? Do you like it? Do you love it? Comment and let me know. If there's a technique you would like to see, go ahead and comment below and let me know. You can oh see- Oh my goodness, don't you love a lot of sparkle? I am saying one of these cards is interactive. You could play and move this over and over as you see the twinkly night sky full of falling snow, all in braced on a handmade card. Go confidently in the directions of your dreams. I encourage you to go ahead and create something full of sparkle in life. Carry the theme through on the inside of your card. This is Jamie with gettingcrafty.net. I'm so grateful that you joined me today. If you liked this, please let me know what you think and what you'd like to create next, and I'll do that for you. Um, and if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Check out these upcoming videos. These videos are uh, handpicked for you. I think you'll enjoy them. Go ahead and create with us all week long using a handmade card to make the world more beautiful, one hand-stamped card at a time. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day, and I will see you soon. Bye.